Hello, this is AJ Hoag. I will teach you to speak English powerfully. Welcome to the Effortless English Show. A special birthday episode today. It's my birthday. So, welcome. I hope you're doing well. So, I am live from America this time, and today, because it's my birthday, I have a special topic. And my topic for today is gratitude. I was thinking about what I should talk about on my birthday, what would be a good topic to discuss. And I thought of many different ideas, and uh, but I, I finally decided on gratitude. I think that a birthday is a good time to look back uh, on the previous year and just to think of all the things you're grateful for. And this is a good practice to do daily. In fact, I now have a kind of a daily gratitude practice that I do as part of writing my journal. So I'm, I combine it with journaling. And in previous episodes, I have discussed writing a journal each day. Well, gratitude is a great thing to focus on when you do that. And what I do, I just do it for five minutes or so, is I just uh, write down, you know, everything I'm grateful for. So I'll start with, you know, with like my wife, why, all the things I'm grateful for about Tomoe. And I'll write about that each day. And uh, I always start with that. And then after that, I might write other things too. About, you know, I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for you, the Effortless English community. I'm grateful for... I don't know, you know, on and on and on, many, many, many things. I'll discuss more of my specific things today. But it's a good practice for you to do, too. Because it really puts you in a better mood. Uh, even when I'm not feeling great, I'll, when I do this, it makes me feel better. Focusing on gratitude also has a powerful success effect. And a lot of people have written about this effect, this kind of psychological effect, I believe it's a psychological effect, you could even say it's a spiritual effect, that when you focus on gratitude, you create a kind of positive energy within yourself, within your mind, within your body, and that positive energy tends to attract more success. The people who focus on complaints tend to get more problems and they don't get the kind of big success they want because they're always focused on these negative things, complaining, complaining. We all complain, of course, at times, but when you focus on gratitude more, it creates a kind of positive energy and in, in an in a idea, a feeling of abundance. Abundance is uh, a word that means uh, having more than enough. If you say, I have an ab abundant amount of money, it means you have more money than you need. You have lots and lots of it. If you have an abundant amount of love, then it means you have more love than you actually need. It's, it's, it's kind of overflowing. Like if you had a cup, it means the, and you're pouring love into it, it means you have so much, it's coming out the top which is a good situation. It's a very positive word, abundance. And we all want abundance in our life. But abundance is very much an attitude, a mental way of seeing, an emotional way of feeling. So that when you have this feeling of abundance, this mindset of abundance, this focus on abundance, on gratitude, that you will then attract more and more and more. You know, there's a saying in English, probably in many languages, that the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Now, this can have a literal meaning, a direct meaning, and the meaning that people who are rich, who have a lot of money, they do tend to get richer. Because when you have money, when you have an abundant amount of money, you have more than you need, well, then you can take your extra money and you can invest that money. 
and then those investments will make even more money. Now you have even more extra money. You can take all of that and invest it, and then it just keeps growing and growing and growing. The rich get richer. So that's the direct meaning. Maybe that's where that saying comes from. However, there's also kind of a, a metaphoric meaning, a symbolic meaning. And that is just that the rich get richer means that, that people who have abundance and who have this attitude of gratitude tend to get more and more good things in their life. Because it's not just money. People who are healthy tend to get healthier and healthier. Right? So, for ex so if someone is focused on, oh, I'm so grateful for my body, I'm so grateful that, I, that I'm, I'm healthy, that person will tend to, will often exercise more and eat better. And because they're exercising more and eating better, they'll get even more healthy. They'll feel even better physically. And then because they feel better physically, they are more likely to exercise even more, to be more active, to have more energy. And then that makes them even stronger. They get stronger and stronger, healthier and healthier. It works in all areas of life. It works just, just in terms of uh, relationships. When you focus on your relationship, focus in focusing on the gratitude and all the good feelings and all the things you love about the person you're with, then the relationship gets better and better and better. And you have more and more and more to appreciate. This is a powerful thing, focusing on gratitude. And it's a good thing to make it a kind of habit. So, I mean, we all say, oh, gratitude, we understand that's a good thing, but we get busy during the day and we forget about it. So making it a, a habit, a ritual, something you do every single day is important, is powerful. And that's what I do daily, writing in my journal, focusing on gratitude. It's also a nice idea. Why not on our birthdays, we could all do this, on our birthdays we could have kind of a a big gratitude focus and think, ah, oh, what are all the wonderful things that have happened to me until now, from when I was born until now. And maybe it would take a long time to think about that and to write them all down, but that would be a great practice. Just think and think and think, oh, what are the things I'm grateful for? Now, personally, I'm grateful for many, many things. I, you know, I'm, I am grateful for my health. I feel good. I feel strong. Uh, I feel very energetic. I'm 46 now, but I feel better and stronger than when I was 26 or 16. I am literally stronger. I can lift more heavy weights. Uh, I'm in better physical shape than when I was a teenager or when I was in my 20s. Um, I have more energy now than I did then. I feel fantastic. I'm very grateful for that. Uh, super grateful for my wife, who is just absolutely wonderful person and I'm super lucky to have her and to have met her and to be with her and that relationship just gets better and better and better also. Um, I'm grateful for my family. I'm lucky to have a very wonderful family growing up, my mom and my dad and my sister and so I have a wonderful family. I'm grateful for my friends, especially my really close best friends, uh, Kristen and Joe, who many of you know. I have a good friend Watt as well, and uh, friend Kenny, and and many other friends too. And I'm very grateful for all of them as well. Uh, and I'm very grateful for you, the incredible Effortless English community, because uh, it's made a big difference in my life. Certainly, the business has helped me. I I have a lot of freedom, and I'm financially free now, and I can do what I want and travel the world and live an adventurous lifestyle and all the things I dreamed about doing, I, I'm doing. That's great. But the best part about the Effortless English community is just that we have a community of such positive people, such positive, friendly, encouraging, supportive people. 
this, we've managed to create something very, very special, an international group that, that supports each other, that in, says wonderful things to each other, that is, that is a, a very happy, positive place, positive group, connected all over the world, people from everywhere, Europe and South America and Asia and North America and Africa, everywhere, Australia, New Zealand, everywhere. We're spread all over the world, different countries, different religions and non-religions, uh, different sexual orientations, different uh, genders, it doesn't matter, everything, different, and yet everybody connected in a very positive, friendly, supportive way. It was wonderful today to wake up and check Twitter and uh, have all of these people saying, happy birthday, AJ, and all these very positive, wonderful messages. That's our community. And that is what I am super grateful for, especially this year, because our community is suddenly growing very quickly. In the last, this year, I don't know, something has happened this year where uh, it's really starting to grow. And I'm, I'm excited about that because we're, we're really, we're reaching a point with Effortless English where we're starting to become quite strong in many parts of the world. Up till now, we've been kind of a smaller, quieter uh, group or movement or community. But now it's really getting uh, bigger and stronger. And that's great because we're doing a few things. I mean, uh, with education and English learning, we are challenging that old school system that has caused so many people to suffer and caused so many problems. In addition to that, we are spreading this mission of, of bringing confidence and happiness to people. And we're bringing more and more people into our community where people can realize, you know, yes, people from many countries and many cultures, they certainly can connect in a very positive, friendly, peaceful, wonderful way. That we can have international friendships. All of that is possible. It's possible because of our code and our mission and our values. I'm super grateful for that as well. All right, let me just check something very quickly. All right. Um, okay. We're going to try and see if I can get our, a guest on the show. One second. And I'm going to send an invitation to her. Okay, so... I'll go ahead now. After I've, Let's talk about gratitude. If you have any questions or comments on Twitter about gratitude, fantastic. But, of course, I'll answer any questions at all. So it's question time. Okay. So let's go to Twitter now and let's check in while we're waiting to see if our guest can make it on the show. Okay. All right. On to Twitter and lots of lots and lots of tweets to answer. So I cannot answer every one of them, but I'll just pick some and see what we can do. Okay. Um, let's see. we got lots of birthday wishes. So first of all, thank you, everybody, for wishing me a happy birthday. I'm excited. So our plans today, it's, it's, it's morning here in the United States. So I'm just waking up. You're the, the first thing I saw when I woke up, I opened my computer, and all these great birthday wishes from... Effortless English uh, members and fans and crew. And, uh, it was a very nice way to wake up. And then tonight, Tomoe and I are going to dinner with Kristen and Joe to a nice restaurant downtown. Uh, and then during the day, I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm going to relax. All right, let's check our messages on Twitter and see what we got. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Lots of happy birthdays. Thank you, everybody. All right. Okay, here's a good <laughs> I've got to read this. This comment from Lane, I can't pronounce it because it's a, it's a Twitter name. Lane Gokyu says, you look younger today. Why, thank you. Maybe I'm getting younger instead of older. Like Benjamin Button. <laughs> Probably because I shaved. I look older when I, but I'm really in my casual mood. And I don't shave and uh, um, dress very casual. My hair gets crazy, especially in the winter. Makes me look older uh, when I shave and look neat and dress nicer. 
I look a little younger. So anyway, thank you. That's a nice comment. All right. Let's see what else we got here. All right. Any other questions? Lots of happy birthdays. Thank you so much. If you have a question or any other comment, let me know. Okay, here's okay. Here's an English question. Why not? Sir Dern Dern, I don't know, Twitter. Uh, excuse me, I have a question. Can we use two pronouns together? For example, our, my family. Is that correct? Nope, it's not correct. Can't do that. Um, just pick one. Our already has the idea of my. Our means we as a group. And you're included in that group, so just say my family or our family. But you don't say our, my family. Sounds strange. So, nope, just one. All right. Lincoln JCM says, happy birthday to great social worker, journalist, and best English teacher. I uh, hope somebody does for you what you do for us. Well, that's a good comment, and I should mention that because some, many people have done for me what I'm doing for you. Uh, and this is a good thing to think about, too. It's another good birthday uh, thought, I think. So, I, first of all, thank you. I appreciate that you feel like I'm contributing to, to you. That is my goal, is to contribute. It's one of our most important values in Effortless English, is contribution, meaning giving to other people, helping other people. And that is huge focus for me. Big, big, big. So, yes, I'm trying to contribute, help you speak English powerfully, but more than that, help you feel more confident, help you get more success in your life, whatever you want. Um, <laughs> help you feel ultimately just feel more free and happy and to be more free and happy in your life that is my goal and that's what I'm doing to contribute that to you I'm happy I can help people and I'm happy that when people tell me I have helped them uh, but it's a good point where uh, it's in that comment saying, I hope other people do that for you well people have done that for me already you know, I've learned from lots of people, mostly from books and sometimes from seminars. Uh, you know, people like Jim Rohn, Richard Bandler, uh, Tony Robbins, you guys all know, uh, Robert Kiyosaki, Brian Tracy, many, I could go on and on, uh, <laughs> Henry David Thoreau. I mean, some of these people are alive, some are not alive anymore. But I've uh, learned from so many people who helped me change my life, who helped me get the success and the freedom that I wanted in, in my life and to have the life I have now. Uh, I learned so much from so many people and that's powerful. We all do this and so I'm passing along, you know, I learned all of this and of course those people, those people that helped me that I mentioned, they also learned from many other people. Tony Robbins, for example, he learned from Richard Bandler and John Grinder. He, he didn't just he wasn't born with all those ideas. He learned them uh, and studied and trained with those guys. And he, he worked for Jim Rohn and learned a tremendous amount from Jim Rohn. And then, of course, Jim Rohn and, and many of these other guys, they learned things from Napoleon Hill's book and from others. So this goes back, 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 back. So we can be very grateful because all of us are learning. And I'm, I'm now teaching you, and so I, part of our values one of our most important values is contribution and that means what I'm hoping is you will then learn from me and you will get more success and happiness in your life and that you will contribute to other people. You pass along that positive energy and knowledge to other people and that you will help other people and then they will help other people and it grows and grows and grows and this is very powerful. So we're all contributing. Many people contribute to me, and then I try to contribute to you, and then I hope you will contribute to other people. That's what our mission is about. You know, that's what, why it's a mission that we're all sharing together, not just me doing it. I'm happy to kind of be the leader and, and to, to give as much as I can. And the mission only comes alive when you do the same for other people. You tell other people about the mission. You teach other people. You help other people with your confidence, with your happiness. You make other people feel better. That's when it really becomes powerful. So we're all doing this. We all contribute. And at the same time, we all 
are contributed to. We all receive contribution to. So we're all receiving and giving at the same time. Okay, let's go back to Twitter, see what we got. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay, met, okay, this is a good question. Uh, may I, Twitter names I can't pronounce because they're not even they're not real names as you know. So, so sometimes I don't know how to say them. Mehmet Kirkoka says uh, you are very casual. Yes, I am usually. Where will you go to after the show? Well, I'm in my uh, temporary home right now in America, so I'm probably just gonna hang out here for a while. And uh, my little ritual is usually going to coffee shops. That's where I go and write and read and think. I don't know, I like going to cafes. Maybe it's uh, the romantic idea. Maybe I got that idea from uh, from writers like Hemingway and Jack Kerouac and some of my favorite American writers. There was this sort of romantic thing of going to cafes and writing their books. Hemingway went, uh, not just Hemingway, but Fitzgerald too. He wrote The Great Gatsby. Uh, that generation of American writers they, many of them went to France, they went to Paris when they were poor and unknown and they all had a little group of, together in Paris and they often would go to go and they would write their books or at least start writing their books in the Paris cafes. They'd go to these little coffee shops, these little cafes and sit on the sidewalk and watch people and they would start writing. And Hemingway has a great book called uh, A Movable Feast Movable Feast, and that book is just about his experience in France. It's not really, it's not a novel, really. It's nonfiction. It's just more of a little uh, description of what his life was like when he was living in Paris. And I think that I I don't know. I like that for me too. I like it. I like going to. I prefer to do my thinking and and writing in a cafe or coffee shop. I like looking around at the people, and uh, so that's probably what I'll do today, and go and write about gratitude and focus on that today. And then later tonight, we're going to a restaurant called Millennium, which is uh, it's actually a vegetarian restaurant, but it's a super nice one, very, very uh, high-quality, nice restaurant. And usually, Tomoe and I and Kristen and Joe, we go there for special events like birthdays and... Uh, I don't know, sometimes we do have like a business celebration. We'll go there for something like that. So we'll be going to that restaurant tonight. That's my big plans for my birthday. All right, let's see more questions. And uh, unfortunately, our guest doesn't seem to be able to join. Oh well. Okay, Lang Dok Du also says I made a big improvement after four months following effortless English. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now go and spread our message. Tell other people about your success and tell them about Effortless English and tell them about the mission. And let's keep, uh, let's keep growing. This is, I think this is the year we really grow and become a, a strong force and really make a big difference in the world. So I'm excited. It's great. Lucky Boy 689 says, uh, happy birthday, my best teacher. I love you so much. Thank you. I love you too. Uh, it, it's just, this is wonderful, what a community we have. I'm serious, you know, go and find some other forums online, some other online community. Just go read the comments. Go, get, go find a YouTube video and re read the comments that people make. And you will see, it's like, there's so many of them are negative, and then everybody starts arguing with each other, and it's horrible. We don't have that. Effortless English. Totally different. It's all just wonderful, super positive comments, and everyone's friendly and helping each other and encouraging each other. That is why we're special. And Barbell says, where is Shri? I don't know. Shri hasn't. So Shri was going to be our guest, uh, and we, we've been chatting. We've been texting back and forth on Google+, Plus, but she, I think she's having problems with her camera again this time. So oh, well, this is our second time trying with Shri, but oh, well. We'll eventually figure it out. This, these little technology problems happen. I'm getting. I used to, in, in the past, get really upset about these things because uh, I was trying to be perfect with everything, and now I've learned to relax about it. We do our best, right? Okay. Okay. Let's keep answering some Twitter questions. I'll go a little longer today because it's my birthday. Why not? 
Okay. This is a good, this is a good comment. Um, Huang, 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 HMH says, when I answer your mini stories, I really want to shout them, my answers, in a motel, but there are many people around and I'm shy. Yeah, it's a, it's a <laughs> so ideally, you want to shout your answers. Yes, no. You know, that's, that's the best situation. When we have a live seminar, and I'm teaching a big group live, we're all shouting and jumping, and it's fantastic. It's really powerful, and you remember things super fast, easily. However, when you're in normal life, if you can do it, if you're alone in, in some place and you can shout, that's great, do it. However, many times that's not possible. You know, I'm listening to Spanish lessons now to Oscar at UnlimitedSpanish.com um, and I'm not shouting my answers because usually I'm in a coffee shop or I'm walking on the street and I can't I can't do that. Or even, even at home, you know, someone lives upstairs from me, uh, so I can't just be shouting. So it's okay. You know, if you can shout, that's great, but you can still smile. You can still have your shoulders back. You can still kind of, yes, no, yes. You could kind of whisper it, but still have a kind of energy, right? You could still use your body and have that strong, positive energy as you're listening. That's still possible, even if you're being quiet. So it's more, it's really more about your mind and your emotions. So your mind and your heart, that's what's important. Not so much the volume. The volume, the loudness helps you feel stronger. That's why we do the shouting, because it, it, it creates a kind of strong, confident, fun feeling. But you can create that feeling even being quiet if necessary. So that's fine. Okay, Il Maestro, sounds Italian, says, uh, AJ, with your lessons after one month, I already start to understand and speak English. Eleven years of school couldn't do that. <laughs> yes, that's why I'm so excited about the Effortless English program and mission, because th this is so common. You know, th th this is why I created Effortless English, because I used to teach in schools, and in my seminars, I tell the whole long story of how I uh, was teaching in schools and how I created Effortless English and why. But I'll give you the short version. It's just that I was teaching in schools, trying the old methods, and I saw that no one was really improving. Not much. They, you know, they could memorize vocabulary. They could take a grammar test. But when I tried to talk to them after class, uh, nobody could talk to me very well. And this, these are, and these were students who, after you know, ten years, six, seven years of learning English, not just one or two people who had studied English years and years and years. After all of that time studying, still could not have a basic conversation, and I realized something is wrong. This is terrible, and. And that's why I eventually, it took me many years to figure out, to find methods that were better. And finally, obviously, we did. And that's why I think the Effortless English system and mission is so important because, you know, we're helping lots of people. First, we're helping with language and basic education against this school system that creates so much failure. And the reason the failure is so bad is that people fail and then they feel bad about themselves. They think something is wrong with themselves. Oh, I'm, I'm not very smart, or I'm bad at languages, or English is too difficult. And they, they need English to, to, for so greater success in life, but for, for their goals or their dreams, and yet they're so frustrated. And, and this is what commonly happens. People who studied in schools for 10 years or more, and then they use Effortless English for six months, and then suddenly they're talking and they're, they're having conversations and enjoying English and really communicating. And the reason that's important is because then they get better jobs or they keep their jobs, they make friends and they connect with international friends in our wonderful Effortless English community. Uh, all these incredible things happen. It's great. All right, let's go to our next question. Could you turn that off to my, please? Thank you. 
All right. Next question, Twitter. Uh, yeah, so Massimo says, yes, uh, I shout my answers. Even if I cannot shouting, it's in my mind. Exactly. You can shout in your mind, right, when you're answering a mini story. You can kind of in your mind imagine, yes, right? You, you're just very quiet, yes, but in your mind, you kind of, yeah, you can, it's all in here. All the power is right inside. Okay. Um, Met, Met, Met Kirkoa also says, I believe Effortless English Group will be the best global English learning group in the world. I believe so, and I think more than just English learning, I think uh, just the best global group in general, because our mission is really more than just English. I'm sure you can see that. It's, it's also about just helping people get the success they want in life, the confidence, the happiness, the energy, jobs, money, relationships, whatever, travel, freedom, all of that. English is our main tool for that, but in fact, the psychology is even more important. So while I'm teaching English, certainly I am, I'm also teaching the psychology tools to give you the success, freedom, and happiness that you want in life. And that is really our deep mission, and that's my personal mission. So it's more than just English, much more. Okay, very good. Oh, yes, good. Kim Isabella, 0701. Uh, oh, by the way, that's the name of um, my little uh, niece, Isabella, my sister's daughter, Isabella. So anyway, Kim Isabella, uh, she says, what, how are your thoughts, or what are your thoughts about the Effortless English mission team? Okay, yeah, let me talk about that more. I'll tell you how this idea started and then uh, what it's going to be. So the mission team. First of all, it started with I have some web designers now. They're looking at my uh, the EffortlessEnglishClub.com website, and they they want to add some. They want to improve the testimonials. We have some quotes from people. You know, oh, thank you so much, Effortless English. Help me those kind of quotes from past students who emailed them. Uh, but the web designers, they said, oh, it's better if you can have the picture of the person so everyone knows they're a real person. So I said, yeah, okay, that sounds good. So I put a request. I, I requested, oh, if you had a good experience with Effortless English, please uh, send your picture and your comments. And as I was thinking about this, I thought, well, this is really great, but you know, and I. Uh, but there's maybe we could do more, because uh, I know, like for example, on Twitter we have some just super fans, you know, super members, super stars. <laughs> super stars is usually what I call you guys, the people who are super active and they're telling everybody else about Effortless English and very enthusiastic. My kind of. Uh, nickname for you is superstars. So these superstars, I thought, you know what, they're, of course they're sending these uh, testimonials, the pictures and the comments, and some with audio too. And that's fantastic. And I thought, well, what, what can I do for them? And how, maybe we should keep working together. Because again, it's not just me. This mission will not grow only with me. So I had the idea a couple days ago of creating a mission team. So a team of members, a team of superstars, who are interested in working with me to tell other people to spread the Effortless English mission. And when I say the Effortless English mission, I mean, of course, the English part, but also the deeper part of confidence, vitality, and happiness, helping people get the success and happiness and freedom they want in their lives. And so we could maybe have a webinar together sometimes, and we could all chat about how can we help other people find Effortless English? How can we uh, better spread the mission around the world? And that I would invite people to this group who were excited about the mission and who wanted to help, who wanted to do that. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. So this was my idea. Um, 
So I decided, let's, let's you know, maybe we can call it the mission team. It'll be, so it's a team of people focused on spreading the mission to others. And so that's the idea. And what's the status on that? Well, right now, you know, I, on the VIP site, first on the VIP site, I put a request asking people, please send me, you know, your, your basically your success story. Your, a picture, a short success story about Effortless English, and also you could read it so we have an audio. So anyone who sends that will be invited to the mission team, and I'll do a, a, a webinar. And now I'll give you the same invitation to our Effortless English show watchers that if you send, a, you have to send a picture. It needs to be a close-up picture, so not a picture of you 10 miles away, <laughs> but a close-up of your face. And you send a, a written comment about your success with Effortless English. So basically just say, what was your situation before? What was the problem, you know, the, the the difficulty, the problems you had with English. That's part one. Then part two is, why did you enjoy Effortless English? How did it help you? And then part three, what benefit did you get from Effortless English in your life? A better job, uh, friends, uh, feeling more confident and strong when you speak, whatever. So those are the three parts of your little success story. Keep it very short. And if you like, you could also, if you feel confident about your English, you could record it as an audio, mp3, and you could send all of those together to my assistant. And if you do that, I will invite you to this mission team. And maybe once a month, about once a month, we'll meet and talk about how can we spread the mission? How can we help other people, more people, join Effortless English? So if you are interested in that, if you would like that, uh, send your testimonial, send your picture and your little success story to my assistant. And the email is, uh, it's two emails, so let me, I'll give you the easy one, ajenglishbook at gmail.com. So my name, ajenglishbook, all together, ajenglishbook at gmail.com. So you need a close-up picture and your success story. And your success story has three parts. Your problems before Effortless English, your positive experience with Effortless English, and the benefits you got at the end. Or now. <laughs> so do that, and do, only do this if you're interested in helping to tell other people and think of ideas of spreading the mission of Effortless English. If you feel very uh, strongly about the, the mission, if it's something that's important to you and you want to help, then do that and I'll, we'll have a webinar once a month and we'll talk. If you're not interested in that, that's fine. It's okay. Okay, so good question. Get a little water and see. The Maestro, uh, this is kind of a business comment. It says, AJ, Everest English has a very strong organizational culture. This is the most important thing in any, any company, I guess. Yeah, now, so this is something that... Uh, Certainly in, in the business English conversations, um, lessons, and maybe future webinars, we can talk about this sort of business idea. But you're exactly right. This is my main job now as the leader of Effortless English, is to create this culture. Because, you know, most businesses, honestly, their culture is just focused on money. Let's make lots of money, 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 money. As a business, of course, we need to make money. I need to pay people. Uh, you know, I, I have to survive, and and I've I've got people working for me, and companies working for me. So yes, of course, we need to charge some money for our services. Uh, however, that's not our number one focus. Our focus is the mission, so that we are we have a, a a bigger, deeper purpose, an almost uh, spiritual purpose, really to bring confidence, vitality, and happiness to people all over the world, to help other people get the freedom and success that they want in life, leading to happiness. So that's our deep goal. Helping people be free and happy is really the short way to say that. And so I want everybody in our 
organization in our community focused on that. And you know, we're not a big company. We don't have not even hundreds of employees, you know. I have decided very early that I did not want that. I don't want to have a lot of bureaucracy and tons of people working for me. So I hire other companies to do work for me. And what I want to do is focus rather on having a community that you are the company. Our members and our fans and our crew, you are Effortless English. We don't hire sales people and pay them to annoy people. No, if you're excited and you love Effortless English, then you'll tell other people. And it, it's, so it's, it's, it's more like a, a, a service organization and I'm more focused on you being the community, not a bunch of employees who just want money. It's different than that. So yeah, that's our company culture at Everless English. Okay, so unfortunately Shri, our guest, wasn't able to join again. Hmm. But we'll try again another time. All right. Okay, here's a good question uh, from Langokdu again, uh, and sorry about the, my terrible pronunciation. Do <laughs> um, you think in the future schools will use your method to teach people learning English? I think it will happen soon. Uh, hmm. I mean, honestly, I don't know. I think that some innovative schools might and are, in fact, if there are a few. There's one Langmaster in uh, Hanoi, Vietnam, that they're using the Effortless English method now, so that which is great. And I bet they they sponsor my events in Hanoi. Uh, I really they're a great group. They're but they're very very different. They're in a very innovative. So I think that there will be some. There's also there are also some uh, English villages in Indonesia. English village Pare. I, I haven't been to I haven't visited them yet, but I connected with some people, and they are using my method. Also great. Do I think government schools and bureau big bureaucracies will use my methods? Probably not. Large government schools, you know, like the British Council, those kind of guys. No, I doubt it. <laughs> uh, because, um, well, honestly, because for one thing, my method requires a lot of energy and and passion from the teachers. It's not an easy method, you know. If you watch me teaching a live seminar, you know, I'm using some, I'm sweating, I'm jumping, and ah, there's this it's super high energy. And I love teaching that way because it's best for you, it's best for the learners. But most teachers, and sadly, a lot of the teachers are not that dedicated. They're not very passionate about what they're doing and they don't want to use that kind of energy. That's why they prefer just textbooks and reading and it's more for their benefit to make their job easier. So, yeah, I don't know. I would I hope so, but it's okay. We don't, you know, the thing is it doesn't matter what they do because we're independent learners. You're learning on your own. We're not dependent on schools. We don't need to wait for the schools to do something. We can do it ourselves. And that's even true for children, if you're a parent. You don't have to rely only on the school and hope the school will teach your child English well, because they probably will not. Instead, you can use effortless English methods or similar things like that and help your child learn English without all that suffering in school. And we actually have actually several members who are using effortless English with their children, very successful. Um, Rag, I, I, I was trying to pronounce his name, Rag, Ragdabir, Ragdabir in, in India, in uh, Gujarat, for example, has uh, is teaching his sons with effortless English. And they're amazing because they've, uh, he's a VIP member, and uh, I've talked to his kids on webinars before, chatting with, with Skype, and they're amazing. <laughs> his kids are amazing. So you don't you don't have to uh, you don't have to wait for the schools. You know, they they'll do what they want, but you can be uh, take charge. That's why self reliance is another one of our important values. We rely on ourselves. We go and find the solutions we need. We don't need to wait for the government or the schools or other people to do it. 
Okay, um, not yet. Jalo Holband, Twitter says, I can't stop laughing while listening to your podcast about the Japanese schools. I'm so curious what she was talking about, the word the. Yeah, so there, I have a podcast called Something Wrong in Japan, and it's all about my uh, experience as an assistant teacher in Japan. And yeah, you've probably heard, the, heard it on my podcast, but if you haven't, it's basically I was watching, observing this class, and the Japanese teacher was teaching in English. But the Japanese teacher spoke only Japanese during the whole lesson. So I'm an English speaker, obviously, and I'm listening, and I understood nothing. In one hour, 45 minutes, something like that, I was sitting in the class, and I could not understand anything in an English class. It was really strange and weird, and and, and she's doing all this complicated explanations in grammar, grammar explanations about every single word, like the word the. It was crazy. And that's how that's how they teach in schools. It's it's absolutely crazy. That's how I learned Spanish in uh, high school, in college. I had a year in both, and uh, it was terrible. And so I kind of <laughs> it's horrible, horrible. Okay, but we all know this. Okay, let's see a couple more, and then I guess we'll finish. Ah, here we go. So Spaniard 2014 says, uh, I have two kids. Uh, one is six years old and one is one, years, one year old, and they are already using your mini stories. Yeah, cool. In fact, and so let me talk about that with children because I get this uh, request quite often about making lessons for children or using effortless English for children. Is it possible? So, uh, and, and what Spaniard 2014 just mentioned uh, is really important because for children, the mini stories are the best. You know, obviously, some of the main lessons, VIP or Power English, or even even the original course, uh, the topics are too complicated or boring or difficult for a child. But the mini stories are perfect for children because they're usually about animals and strange characters. They're simple. They're funny. So you can explain and help the child, the child learn the vocabulary necessary. So if, you, if you're helping your child learn with a mini story, help them learn the vocabulary, and then you know, then they can listen to the mini story. You could even have you could draw pictures to show what's happening in the mini story. There's a lot of things you could do with children using the stories, and uh, they're really the best to use for kids. At the same time, you can also find easy storybooks for children. I, I always, when I taught little kids in Korea, I used uh, Dr. Seuss books. The Cat in the Hat. Even easier is a book called Hop on Pop. That was the first book I usually taught to children, Hop on Pop, by Dr. Seuss. So you can use little books like that. You can read them, read to them in English with easy, fun books. You can use the mini stories. So those are all great ways to do uh, effortless English with children. Uh, Here's another good comment in effortless English. The method is like thirty percent, and seventy percent is psychology. But in schools, thirty percent is psychology, and seventy percent is stress. <laughs> yeah, so that's a good comment from Il Maestro. Uh, schools totally ignore psychology. Totally ignore the psychology, and it's the most important. Seventy percent, it's eighty percent. I mean, if that's more. It's just a metaphor. Who knows what the act, not an exact number, but the point is, psychology is most important. Motivation, energy, enjoyment, understanding how the brain works and how we learn. That's the most important part. Yes, the method's important. The seven rules are important. Yes, but Psychology is even more important because if you're bored and tired and stressed, no method will help you very much. And the psychology is also important because it will help you with English and will help you in all parts of your life. That's why I teach the psychology so much because it will help you in your job. It will help you with your family. It will help you be happier. It will help you have more freedom, help you with your friendships, help you with your health. 
and fitness. Everything. The psychology affects everything. It is super important. Okay, a couple more questions and then it's time to go. Okay, so this is a good question. Bart's, Bartos Mama says, what about adults who can't speak English on an intermediate level? Can they just start with the mini stories? Yeah, exactly. Yes, they can. Exactly right. So an adult who's a beginner, uh, maybe the full lessons are too much. They're, they're too difficult. So that adult could just focus only on the mini stories and the point of view stories for a while. They could, they could, for example, they could get Power English and or the original course and they could only listen to the mini stories for the whole course, all the way to the end, just the mini stories and the point of view and use the text as necessary. And they could just do that only and by the time when they finish that course, the mini stories only, their English will then be at an intermediate level. Then they could return, go back, and listen to the main lessons and the commentaries, and then do the whole course again, focusing on those. That would be a good method for a beginner. Yeah, good point. I'll start recommending that, because that's actually a great way to do it for a beginner, someone lower level. Okay, I think we're about done. Let's see, any more questions? Now's your chance on Twitter. Put your questions now because we're almost done. All right, it looks like we're about finished. Look at a picture here. Okay, so let me just check one more time for the Twitter questions, and then we're about to go. Okay, so it looks like we're about done. So I want to say thank you on my birthday. Thanks for helping me celebrate my birthday. I had a great morning. And as I said, you know, the effortless English community is something I am super grateful for. Not just that our, our company is successful. Yeah, that's great. But it's about the, the emotion. It's about the, the positive feeling and attitude in the effortless English community. That is, it's really special. And it's not just online, by the way. You can feel it on Twitter. You can feel it online. We feel it on our, our, our Facebook pages and our VIP site. In our webinars, you can feel it. And on the show here, it's really strong in face-to-face. -face. So I'm lucky I get to travel the world a lot. And when I travel, I meet Effortless English members and crew fans. And I do events sometimes. And when I meet people face-to-face, the effortless English community people are super nice, super friendly, and and passionate and enthusiastic. Just amazing people. You know, I go to Hanoi and we have these big groups and everyone's jumping and shouting and having a great time and happy. It's wonderful. Or I went, went to Barcelona and I met our member uh, VIP members and other members there. Again, so friendly and and helpful and generous and sweet and kind amazing people. And I've met people in all different parts of the world, Effortless English members and fans. It's always the same. That is what I'm most grateful for. That is what I'm happy to grow. Because we, we don't want to grow by attracting everybody and, and creating just a normal company or a normal group and having a lot of negative people. No. That's why we're growing more slowly. That's not what we want. We want to keep this amazing, wonderful, positive community and just keep attracting people like that. Those are the only people I want are people like you who are friendly, positive, enthusiastic, accepting of other people who are different. Those are the kind of people we want to attract. That's how we want to grow, only in that way, only with people who are dedicated to our mission, who believe in our mission. That's all. Those are the only people I want. I don't care about the money. Those are the people I want. And I, I'm sure you agree so that we continue to have this amazing, wonderful community that we can all continue to be grateful for and to enjoy. Okay, then. Well, as always, let us end with our mission and our code and our values. So, 
of course, our code. So our code is just it's just how we treat each other. It's kind of our rules, but they're not really rules. It's just three ways that we behave. And this is what guarantees that our community is positive and friendly. And number one is we do the best we can. We do the best we can. We can't be perfect, of course, but we do our best. Always just trying to do our best. If we make a mistake, it's okay. We all make mistakes. If, if necessary, we apologize. We learn from the mistake, and we do the best we can to keep learning and growing. Number two, we do the right thing. It means we're, we're not going to insult other people. It means if someone's different than us, we're not going to make them feel bad or have some argument about it. We're not going to try to push our religion or our ideas about the, you know, other things that are going to cause arguments and cause problems. We're not going to do that. We're going to be honest. We're not going to steal. We're not going to lie. You know, basic. <laughs> Very basic. <laughs> we do the best we can. We do the right thing. And then finally, the third one is, is very proactive. It means, uh, proactive means that you actually take initiative. You do something. You take the action. We show each other we care is number three of our code. So it means, yes, you avoid doing negative things, but it means you also actively do positive things. You say nice things to other members. If someone in our community has a success, you compliment them. You congratulate them. If someone else is having a problem, then you encourage them. You support them. You're helpful. If someone else is does well, you're not jealous. No, you are happy that they had success. Right? That's what we we actively show each other we care. Our mission, the whole purpose of Effortless English, is to explore new opportunities for growth, to bring confidence, vitality, and happiness to people all over the world, and to boldly go where we have never gone before. To explore new opportunities for growth means we're always looking for opportunities to learn. Growth just means learning, to keep learning, to keep becoming better as human beings. Bring confidence, vitality, and happiness to people all over the world. This is the core of it. Help other people be more confident, more happy. That's contribution, helping others. And to boldly go where we have never gone before, it means to explore, to be open to new ideas. And hey, let's travel too, right? We're all learning English, the international language. Let's explore. Let's go to new places and meet new people online or even in person. All right. And finally, uh, the effortless English values. So the first value, the most important value really, is devotion to the mission. It means you're committed to helping others. You're committed to helping other people feel happy and confident, and yourself, of course, too. You're committed to growing and learning for all of your life. Uh, our second value is enthusiasm. It means being excited about learning, being excited about life. Not just going through life with low energy, but being excited and energetic and active. Super important. Constant and never-ending improvement is our third value. Again, this idea of lifelong learning. Always trying to improve. Perfection is not possible. Who knows what that even means? But improvement is always possible. No matter how good you are, you in any skill, in any area of life, can always Make it just a little better. That's our focus. Make it a little better each day, each week, each month, each year. Contribution is right at the heart and core of our values. Contribution, helping other people. First, you help yourself. You get success and confidence and happiness. And as you get that wonderful energy and success in your life, then you use it to help the people around you. Help other people in the Effortless English community. Help people in your family, your friends, your community, the whole world. Up to you. Just help other people. That's all. That's the important part. Self-reliance is our fifth value. And I mentioned it before. It means we are responsible for our own lives. We don't wait for other people to solve our problems. We go and solve them ourselves. If we need help, we don't wait for someone to come help us. We go and we ask 
people to help us. If we need teachers, we go and we find the teachers we need. So we are responsible for our own life. Self-reliance, number five. Number six is persistence. Very important. Number six, persistence. Persistence means when something is important, you do not quit. You just keep going, you keep going, you keep going, even when it's tough. And there are tough times in life. We all know this. And you keep going. Now, if something's not important, eh, it's okay to quit things sometimes. Everything's not equally important. But some things are very important. And when something is super important to you, you don't quit. You keep going. And finally, number seven, positive leadership. Positive leadership. So we are leaders, but we're not the kind of leaders that tell people what to do. Do this, do that. That's a very negative kind of leadership. Positive leadership means that you lead by example. You lead by showing who you are. So for example, with English, you don't just tell people, oh, you should do this, you should do that, you should do the effortless English system. Nah, 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 nah. That's not very positive. No, positive is that you improve your own English and you enjoy it and you're enthusiastic and happy about our mission and then you show other people. You show them your success with English. You show them your enthusiasm and they see and they call oh, and then they ask you, wow, how did you improve your English? Oh, this is amazing. What are you doing? And you can tell them, right? You, you, you're, you're leading in a very positive way or you lead by complimenting people. When they do something well, you congratulate them and you guide them in that way. It's a very positive kind of leadership. So those are our seven values. Okay. All right, I think that's uh, our show for today. Thank you very much. It was a great little birthday show. I enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you did too. So I love you all. Thank you for helping to celebrate my birthday with me. We'll try again with a guest next time. Until then, have a great day and uh, keep working to spread our mission and focus on gratitude. But not just me today, just think a little bit about what are you grateful for in your life. All right, thank you so much. See you next time. Bye for now for the Effortless English Show. Have a great day. Bye-bye.